Okay, so in this video we are going to solder our ESC to our power distribution board, aka our bottom plate of our frame. At this point we have already soldered the bullet connectors to our ESCs. Now we're going to solder the red and black cables to our board. So in this video we will need of course a soldering iron, a soldering iron stand, a sponge, a damp sponge, a uh, some solder, of course an ESC, our bottom plate, and some helping hands. Now we should just remind ourselves of the orientation of our ESC on our build. So remember, we're not placing our ESC on top of the arm, we're placing our ESC under the arm. So with that, we're going to have our black line over here and our red line over here. And that's perfect because on the power distribution board, this electrode is the minus electrode right here. And on the other side, we have the positive electrode. So whenever we're soldering our ESC to our power distribution board, just make sure that the text just make sure that the text is facing down and you will be all right. We're gonna show you how to do this for one ESC and in the end we will have our power distribution board with four ESCs soldered to it. All right, I will see you over there where we will start soldering. Okay, now it's time to start soldering some ESCs onto the power distribution board itself. As you can see here, this is what it will look like when we are finished. Now here is our ESC, and the amount of wire that is exposed right now might not be long enough to actually solder onto the board. So what we might have to do is trim off some of this insulation. You wanna be left with maybe about that much wire exposed. We'll do that with the black wire as well. Just gently clamp down on the insulation, not hard enough to cut the wire, but hard enough to cut through the insulation. And cut all around the insulation, and then pry up with your scissors. And again, you want about that much wire exposed. Okay, so we're gonna be soldering onto these two electrodes. So the first thing we're gonna do here is just place a little bit of solder on both of these electrodes. So we'll just place our tip on the electrode and feed in some solder like that. And we'll do that on the negative terminal as well. There we go. Okay, now it's time to actually place the ESC on the power distribution board. And remember, we want our ESC to be facing down because that's how it will be on the actual frame. And let's just verify that we're gonna have this red wire going to the plus and the black wire going to the minus. Good, we're good there. Now I am no professional with soldering, but what I do is place the wire on top of the electrode that already has the solder on it and press down on the wire. And in doing that, you will liquefy the solder below it. And when it, uh, drop, when it becomes solid again, you will have a solid connection. Now to do this, you're gonna need a healthy amount of solder already on the electrode, in which case I do. So once again, we have a healthy amount of solder on the electrode. We're going to place the wire on top of the electrode, and with our soldering iron, we're going to press down on the top of the wire, and that will be hot enough to melt the solder below it. So now we have a liquefied solder and wire combination, and when we remove our soldering iron, then the solder will become solid again, and now you have a good connection.